Corn season is upon us in Cameroon and for the first time since I got back to Cameroon from South Africa, I decided to go to our farm to harvest some corn. And honestly, I don't know what I was thinking because farming is not really my thing and I don't have a history of good farming experiences and this one was not any better. Leslie, are there snakes here? Eh? These are yours. In Cameroon, majority of homes use a gas stove, not an electric stove like in South Africa. But when you are cooking something like corn, which takes a long time to cook, obviously that's going to take a lot of gas. So we use something else which I'm going to show you guys. But now I was going to go buy some gas because I ran out. In big cities like Johannesburg, Pretoria, Cape Town, Durban, these are literally concrete jungles. They are so packed with infrastructure that there is not a lot of space to actually have farmlands. Whereas in Cameroon, it's very normal to find people's farms within a city. So someone can build their house and then leave the remaining space at the back for a farm. That's a key difference between how Cameroon and South Africa is structured. In South Africa, the farmland is more on the outskirts of town. So as you're driving out of town, you will begin to see farms and things like that, but you won't find you know, farms within the city. It's actually land allocated for farming alone and then land allocated for building. But in Cameroon, you can find farms within cities. It's, it's, it's very, very normal. But of course, our bigger plantations, like you know, our fruits and vegetable plantations, you do find them. <clears throat> You do find our plantations on the outskirts of our cities as well, but just farms like family farms and people's personal farms, you can definitely find them within the city. So where do we actually buy gas? Thank you for asking. We buy gas at petrol stations. Now what happens is that you bring your old gas the one that is finished the old gas bottle and then they give you a new gas bottle that contains gas so that's basically the process now one gas bottle costs approximately seven thousand francs and it can last for about one month depending on your usage as well i mean gas has its disadvantages in that it can be unsafe i mean you're dealing with a gaseous substance which can explode but the ben benefits of using gas is that when there's load shedding when lights go off you can still cook because you're not dependent on electricity like in south africa where they're dependent on electric stoves now back to our farming expedition the first thing is that i don't even think i was properly dressed to go and harvest this corn and as a result mosquitoes dealt with me so as time went on they went deeper into the corn farm and i was like nah man this is not for me i just had to be honest with myself guys like the potential to meet some insect something you know i don't know what but just something inside that farm was just not something i was willing to expose myself to so i decided to just stay and wait for them like you know on the outside where there was not so much bush this guy is more small corn than this i'll probably just be picking I'll probably just be picking the corn and putting it inside the bag. I'm not going to be harvesting because eh, I don't want to get myself involved in some situation. So during corn season, there's so many different dishes that Cameroonians... Ow! That was my... That was my... That was my leg! Let's just pause here for a second. Let me show you guys what happened in the background. So they entered the deeper areas of the farm to harvest the corn and they would throw it in my direction and I'll put the corn in the bag. Don't throw the corn at me! That was my leg! But the issue is that they were just shooting the corn any manner of a way, so it kept on like hitting me. So during corn season, there's so many different dishes that Cameroonians make. I'm going to tell you guys a few of them. Number one, corn chaff, which is actually what I'm probably going to make first. In South Africa, you call this samp and beans. Same thing, but they call it samp and beans. And then you can also make cocky corn, which is like a corn pudding. You can also make roasted corn, a boiled corn. In fact, there are so many different variations of what you can do with corn. So in this particular season, you're going to be seeing corn in almost everybody's home. Is it that is it that is a species of corn that is small like this or it does not have enough nutrients? Why is it so small? I don't know. <laughs> Anyway, after a final round of harvesting, it was finally time to head home to taste and sample this deliciousness. I'm tired. <laughs> I'm tired. 
<laughs> it's so heavy. Yeah, the both of you need to carry it. Now remember at the beginning of the video I mentioned that when we want to cook things like corn which take a lot of time to cook we use a charcoal I think it's a charcoal clay pot situation but it heats up the charcoal and then the heat is contained within a clay cylinder which is now covered with iron and that's what we use to cook the corn so while that was heating up and the coal was getting hot we just prepared the corn for boiling So June is my birthday month and a lot actually happened on my birthday week and I decided to just give you guys some highlights. First off, I've been wanting to attend a gospel concert for the longest time and this one was an all night concert like literally from night till dawn so i was really blessed to be present and lillian was ministering you guys have seen her on this channel before he is There's just something so powerful about worshipping God, you know. It just makes your problems seem much more smaller, if that makes any sense. And you leave feeling much lighter when you actually spend time in the presence of God. So I was really blessed to be present. up on the first sunday of my birthday i was called up to minister to preach on that particular sunday and so oh man i was so blessed to actually do that the first sunday of my birthday and this is how it went what is actually unmerited which is a manifestation of favor is the mercy of god upon our lives that is salvation salvation is a manifestation of god's, of god's favor upon mankind it is his favor for the whole world if you believe in Jesus Christ, who died for you on the cross and rose for your sins, you shall be saved. You cannot do anything for salvation. It is unmerited. It is because of the mercy of God. Amen. I like trying our new restaurants in Yaoundé. And so after service, we went to this restaurant called Chopido and the food was reasonably okay. We ordered a platter, you know, like uh, different combinations of foods within one order, and it cost 12,000 francs. Let me show you guys what we got. <laughs> we got one full chicken, which came with two sides of your choice. You could either go with fried rice and plantain and fried Irish potatoes. So it was fried Irish potatoes, fried plantains, and fried rice, and you had to choose two between those three sides with the full chicken and then it also came with mayonnaise pepe and tomato sauce as well and the 12,000 francs was not inclusive of the drinks so you had to place a separate order for drinks and then the whole ambiance of the place was also quite nice it seemed very chilled and people were even there doing like their birthday celebrations with their friends so yeah definitely a cool place Guys, I used to think it was impossible to surprise me, but I was so pleasantly surprised by a lot of people on my birthday week. Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! Oh. Wow! Hey, yeah. My Bible study group is truly like a family to me and yeah, they surprised me as well with their songs and their well wishes so I really want to thank them for making my day that much special as well. Thank you so much everybody who has wished me a happy birthday on the channel. I really appreciate it so much. I feel like hitting 5,000 subscribers was my own gift from YouTube. 
so thank you guys so much i'm going to keep the content coming and yes guys i'll see you in my next video and if you have a birthday gift for me that you are still keeping i am collecting a birthday gift so be a blessing to me guys i'll see you in my next video bye